Just like we grow in every other area of our life, we can also grow to be encouragers. Encouragement is something we can learn how to do, how to encourage other people. It is so powerful, it can transform people's lives. I heard a story once of two people that were in a hospital room. They were on two beds, one near a window and the other one away from the window. The one that was away from the window was paralyzed as he was in bed. The one that was near the window, he would sit there and he would look outside the window and he would share stories of things he saw outside about the beautiful sun and all the wonderful things that was happening outside. The one that was paralyzed was tremendously encouraged by the one next to the window. One fine day, the one near the window quietly slipped and passed away. As he passed away and the nurse came, the one away from the window said, can you give me that place next to that window so I can look out? And the nurse moved him there. And when he somehow helped himself to look out of the window, he saw that there was just a blank wall outside. The nurse told him, not only was it just a blank wall, the man that was next to the window was a blind man, but all the encouragement he gave that paralyzed man gave him the strength to look forward to a better tomorrow. I believe we can all grow to be such kind of encourage. It may not have come naturally. It may have been a choice for a blind man who didn't have his sight to decide that he wants to be an encourager. So how can you grow to be an encourager? I think firstly, you and I must desire to become an encourager. The Bible commands us to encourage one another. It says desire, long for it. Secondly, I believe not only should we long, we can pray. We can ask the Lord, Lord, can you help me become an encourager? I really want to obey the commandment of as long as it is day, encourage one another pray for it whatever you pray for i believe the holy spirit will strengthen you to become ask the lord lord help me to die to my self-centeredness and stop thinking just about myself that i can start thinking about others and that i can encourage others because god delights in people who are there who obey his commandments thirdly i believe if you hang around with people that encourage one another you know, there are people in our ministry who are great encouragement, like Barnabas. You know, study Barnabas and uh, what he did and how he lived, how he encouraged people. I believe when you study like that or walk with people that are encouragers, it'll rub off on you. So if you see an encourager, listen to how they do it and learn from them and then find somebody and begin to encourage them. Barnabas was not just a spiritual cheerleader. He was also a man who keenly saw people in the church needed to be encouraged. Fourthly, make encouragement a daily discipline. Step out, decide, put reminders to encourage one another. But, you know, send a text or make a phone call, pray for somebody, encourage somebody. Finally, look out for somebody that needs to be encouraged. As you speak a word of faith over them, their life will never be the same again. Go out and be an encourager.